What's up, everyone? This is Kenny here from Promise Stories. So, since I've got a little bit of time before the viewing, uh, I thought that I would like to answer some questions that is posed by the prospects from a real estate agent's perspective so that you will understand how the way we work and what are we thinking when actually we give you the kind of reply that you may not expect or you may think, oh, damn, this, is, this person is very rude. So let me explain our side of the story, okay? The one question that we usually get is this. May I know which floor is this unit? May I have the unit number? Okay, from prospect, sometimes we get this question. Yes, I understand. This is to save you time, right? Because maybe you have come and see. But from our perspective, we may not... We Most of the time, we don't want to reveal the unit number. You know why? Because of one reason only. One, one reason only. We are afraid that we will be undercut. Let me explain. Let's just say you have the unit number today. You, we don't know who are you, number one. You may actually post as a, another agent, get the unit number or even get the floor number and then call the owner yourself. And that's the deal we lost. You, you sold the property right under our nose and we have put in a lot of effort and advertise, okay? That is if you are an agent, if you don't know, okay? Um, second one is that if you are the if you know the floor number or you know the unit number, you might have friends, you might know people who are staying there. And then if you already know, you don't need the agent to show you the house, right? You can go direct to the owner. That's what we don't want. So all this all all this right, is due to us being skeptical, especially uh, when we actually work so hard to to market the listing to put in an advertisement. Like today, I'm waiting for the client. I have to show the client a whole house and explain to them what they want and then follow up after that. So, yes, we put in a lot of effort. And at the end of the day, we are all looking to get rewarded for our effort. That is the reason why we put in effort. I hope this gives you a little bit perspective huh, on why sometimes uh, when you call the real estate agent, especially in the sub sale market, I'm referring in the sub sale market, they give you answers like this. They give you, oh, it's a high floor. Which floor you said no, not convenient to tell. Okay? Or you ask, hey, can I have the unit number? Maybe I've seen I've seen a few a few units already down there. Then the agent said, why not you tell me which unit number you have seen and then I show you uh, I, I'll tell you whether this unit is in the same unit that you are looking at. Most of the time it's the same. So for you as a house buyer, how do you curb this fake listing and also don't waste your time and your agent's time? This is what I suggest. If you like the development A, for example, condominium A, you call all the agents there, okay? You call all the agents there and one day or weekends, you go to appointment, you ask the agent how many units you have. Five units, ten units, okay, see all. You see all, you jot down the unit number. And then, when you see at least ten, this unit agent with the ten units, right, you just deal with this one agent because he has the most instincts there, he has the most unit there, he or she, you don't need to call other agents already. So you save your time negotiating and also looking again. Next time, let's just say you, you have decided on condominium, you want condominium A, okay, call agent, this agent for condominium A, done. Save you a lot of time, save you a lot of headache and save also your heartache of dealing with agents. Okay, I hope this tip gives you a little bit perspective on how the agents work and next time if you face this kind of questions again, you face this kind of reply, you will know what to do. Until then, this is Kenny here from Probably Stories. Uh, see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.